My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? A lot of colors. Uh, Jim, Zach, doing all right. Big weekend fanatics fest. You can still hear it in my voice a little bit. But a lot of sports, and you know that's what I like. We even talk that on this show sometimes. How are you? First category, sports. We could change it to a lot of sports. But that's the run of show. What's that going to do? That's the run of show right there. Thanks, Zach, for putting that up there. I'm good. Also a busy weekend. Also tired. You get all the power, don't you? Put whatever I want there. Big nose. Huh. And here's the sports. James, our Yankees. Alex Verdugo. Big news this weekend. Mm-hmm. Little League World Series. Williamsport. It's none of that. He's reportedly allergic to his own tattoos and BGs. Batting gloves. Yes, hands been blistering for years and cracking and hurting. And it's the chromite and the cobalt combo. The glove has ink in it that's got cobalt. And then the tattoos have chromate. I don't know if I'm saying those words correctly. Mm. And I don't know if that's the right gloves have this. I had them opposite. The doctors say that they combine for this allergic reaction. 6% of people. 9%. Each. Okay, you told me last night 9%. Tattoos have the chromite. Whatever the fuck, how are you, Sam? And when they right. touch each other, that's what happens. It's 6% of the population. No, 6 is the number I've known. 6%. And Yankees prospect Jason Dominguez also has this, apparently. Right. So tough for his batting glove sponsor. Tough for him. I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. Like, I went to the allergy place, and I'm allergic to everything besides dust mites. They don't have shit on me. I, like, laugh in their face. What would be the worst piece of sports equipment to be allergic to? Jersey or pants. Winning. <laughs> allergic to winning. That'd be bad. I wish you guys could see Zach's fucking smirk and butter right now. Are you going to edit that out? Well, you can't censor this one, Zach. It's called Almost a Breakdown. Yersin Mosquera. Think I said that correctly? Two. Two. Yeah. Well. Pinky's out. Is that three or? No, that's. <laughs> No way. The pinky's out. Watch the replay. Person Mosquera, if it started with a P. He's a soccer player and apparently a bully. Yeah. And the guy on the other team, he kind of does wrap his arm around Yerson's head. And Yerson's like, you're going to wrap your arm around me. I'm going to get you. Slams him down by the throat and then puts all of his weight while choking him. No card. No one saw it in the corner. That's where you can get away with stuff. And then later on. <laughs> uh, what? He throws Later his on fi- what? he throws his fingers into the butt crack of number nine, and number nine pushes him. I think he gets called for a penalty, and Yerson's scot free. So he's he's a good pest. Someone fe- you, touches you in area you're not feeling normally touched. You're not normally get touched. You're gonna get upset. You just don't expect it. When you expect getting a finger up there, it's fine. But when someone sneaks up to you on the soccer field, Wait. would you rather get choked or a little butt play? From Yerson. LBP. I'm also LBP. Yeah. I hate being choked, bro. No, yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan. I wish you guys could see Zach smirking his boner right now. Are you going to edit that out too? Hey, enough sex talk. <clears throat> Let's go back to the sports. Speaking of more sports, DraftKings. DraftKings Sportsbook. Woo! Get in the draft and be a king. Transitional noise. McCovey Cove. Uh, the Giants play baseball in San Francisco. And there's water past the stadium. And people hang out in boats. They call it McCovey Cove. A home run was hit there. Michael Harris, too. First game back. It's a grand slam off the IL. They want that ball. Why? I'm guessing first ever grand slam. Okay. McCovey Cove Dave, who got the ball. You know, he goes to about 50 games, hangs out in the Cove in his kayak. He's gotten like 28 balls. He was asked to negotiate for the ball. And normally, you know, hey, Picture, autograph, tickets to the game. Blah, blah. Your guy, MCD, took it to another level. My favorite ask I think I've seen. Now, what happened is they sandbagged him. Yes. They leaked to the media. The early reports were that he asked for a job with the Giants. Right. And he didn't ask for a job with the Giants, Zach. Don't believe what you read. He came back to say, what? That's not what I asked for. I asked to be able to park in the employee parking lot for the rest of the season or the rest of my time coming because it's so much cheaper and it's a reduced rate. Dude, great ask because the off chance they're like, all right, yeah. Saves a ton of money. Dude goes to 50 games, 60 bucks cheaper. That's 50 times 60. 3,000. Back, back, back. It's confusing. Uh... Not too much. How about the not sports, though? Ooh, the not sports is very confusing. So we're going to the Czech Republic. Yeah. Prague. There's an open prison where prisoners are. Okay? Thieves and 
um, convicts and felons, and they have some animals for these prisoners to entertain them, <laughs> let them have some fun. They got kangaroos there. So the kangaroo is in the prison. He's not a prisoner. He didn't do anything wrong. He's just like kind of there. These aren't naughty ruse. Two of the kangaroos escaped, yeah. right? One came back right away. The other was gone for a week and then came right back unharmed. The authorities were baffled. No sign of forced exit. The zoo's owner had speculated that someone familiar with the park security measures had kidnapped the kangaroo. Open prison feels a little too open. Especially when you have escaped kangaroos. Is it a prison for animals? No, it's a prison for humans. The kangaroos are supposed to help inmates with their anger issues, which I don't know if that's fighting them. I don't know if it's like, look at the pretty kangaroo. I have a theory. Do you want to hear my theory? Yeah. You got to look at the convict who's had the best relationship with the kangaroos. Okay. And who's going to get out soon, right? I'm not going to say right yet, but go yeah, on. Yeah. It's kind of like Brooks in... Shawshank Redemption. Like, they were best friends. I'm getting out of here in a week. I'm going to miss the fuck out of this kangaroo. We've been hanging out the whole time. Right. Calls his wife, and they plan a great kidnapping of the kangaroos. Now, there's another guy in prison for life. Bad guy. He also loves the kangaroo. So when he found out that this dude had his wife, he broke into his cell at night and held a knife point. Said, if you don't, your wife doesn't return that kangaroo. You're not going to make it out of this prison in a week. Calls his wife, says, you got to bring him back. I'm going to die. <laughs> kangaroo Jack, part two. <laughs> Patrice Patrick Patrick he goes by Patrice when he's in Prague at the open prison he had a big weekend Fanatics we all fest. did Michael Rubin Kevin Durant Patrick he was at our booth like all weekend meeting the community slinging shirts all right good show oh all it's right, like good that, show. It's like that soccer player. All right, good show. Nice. Oh. <laughs> that was a weekly dumb. Today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the video. Whether you're cheering on your alma mater or just loving the thrill of college football, you're going to want to listen to this right now. All new customers who bet just $5 on anything will get 200 in bonus bets Instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB and bet just $5 on any wager and get 250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Zach? Did you have something to say? No. No, go ahead. Please. That's a... Hmm.